In this tutorial, we will take a look at creating a lookup column for a SharePoint list. A lookup column lets you select a set of values that come from another list in the site. In this example, I have a contact list of vendors. I'll select vendors from my list on the left here. And here you can see the vendors list displayed with columns for the company name, contact name, address, and so forth. I am in the process of creating another list for tracking vendor expenses. I will switch to that list by selecting it on the left navigation menu. I have all the columns I need except for the vendor name column, which I will create as a lookup column. I want to create the vendor name column as a lookup so that rather than having to manually type the vendor name each time, the lookup column will provide me with a list of vendors from my vendor list. So to create my new column, I will click on the Settings drop-down menu and select Create Column. First, I need to give my column a name, and I'm going to call this Vendor Name. Then I select the column type, which is Lookup. For this example, I'm not going to enter a description or require that the column needs to contain information. In the section Get Information From, I select the list containing the column I want to look up, which is the Vendors list. In the next section, in this column, I select the column in the Vendors list containing the vendor names, which is Company. You'll see if I select the drop-down arrow here, it shows me all the columns from the Vendors list. If I selected the Allow Multiple Values checkbox, it would let me select more than one vendor. That is not applicable for this list, so I will leave that unchecked. I'll click OK to complete my new column. Back here at my Vendor Expense Tracking list, you can see the new column, Vendor Name, has been added to the list. To demonstrate how this lookup column works, I'm going to add a new item to this list. I've entered all the information, and now to select my vendor name, you'll see it gives me a drop-down arrow. When I select that, it gives me a list of all the vendor names from the vendor list. Simply double-click on a vendor to select it, then select OK to complete the item. You can see how lookup columns save data entry time and maintain accuracy and consistency of data entered in a list. This completes the tutorial on lookup columns.